go, boy. Fetch! <sighs> yes! This is the best toy ever, ever, ever! Hey, Daffodil, wanna play? That thing? No, thank you. All right. <laughs> Am I pooped? So, I guess you and Emily Elizabeth spent the whole afternoon playing with the suck spider again. <laughs> Gosh, Daffodil, you should have played. I had so much fun. Well, good for you. <laughs> Daffodil, is something wrong? No. Does your tummy hurt or something? No. Mm, do you need a nap? I will in a minute, since you're wearing me out. Oh, sorry. I just thought you seemed maybe a little upset. No, I'm fine. It's nothing. Nothing as in really nothing? Nothing as in nothing! Fine, if you really want to know, I'll tell you, it's... It's the sock spider. The sock spider? I just, I cannot stand being in the same room with it. It's, it's grubby and drooly and, 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 well, it's not even a real toy, is it? It's not? It's just, it's just a bunch of stinky old socks. Huh. He seem like a real toy to me. Hey, what's up, Del, my little redness? Hi, Narvel. Ho, 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 wait a minute. What's a long face there, pal? Well, I just found out that my favorite toy in the whole wide world is a real toy at all. You mean? Uh-huh, the sock spider. Holy tamole, I'm glad I got here when I did, because this is serious. This is very, very serious. All right, well, there is only one thing that you can do with a toy that is not a real toy. What? Well, you get rid of it, that's what you do, you know. Well, get rid of it? So the sooner the better, because you got to put it where Emily Elizabeth will not find it, so that she will get you a real toy to play with. Oh, well, I could never do that. I love my sock spider. If you go around playing with a sock spider, people will think that you don't know up from down, down up top from bottom. A, a real toy from, um, you know, from a uh, thing pretending to be a toy. Well, if you really think so, Norlo. Do I think so? I do, I do, I do. Now, believe me, Little Red, this is for your own good. Well, I'm off. Have a good time there, Clifford. Yeah. Bye, Norville. Well, for once, that bird is actually talking sense. You think I should hide the sock fighter, too? I think you should have hid it weeks ago. But better late than never. But where? Oh, Norval says it's gotta be somewhere where Emily Elizabeth will never find it. I'm sure you'll think of something. Uh, maybe I'll hide it under her bed. Oh, no, it, it, it's too easy. It's way too easy. I'm sure she'll find it there. Well, how about the living room? Yeah, there's some great hiding places there. Oh, you're using that little puppy head of yours. Maybe I should just tell Clifford the truth. Problem isn't the sock spider. <sighs> I should really tell him. On the other hand, maybe if the sock spider goes away, the problem will too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nina and I finished our homework. There you are, boy. <laughs> Wanna play tug of war? <laughs> hey! Okay. 
Where's the sock spider, Clifford? <laughs> oh, I get it. You want me to look for it? Let's see. Did you hide it behind the couch? Nope, it's not behind the couch. I know, maybe it's under the couch. No, it's not under the couch either. Nope. You sure are great at hiding things, Clifford. But I wonder what that could be. I forgot to check under the pillow. Here I come, Clifford. I'm gonna get the sock spider. I bet that's Nina. I'll be back in a minute, Clifford. Oh no, where can I hide it? Oh, Emily Elizabeth will never find it there. And now I'll play with a real toy, not just a bunch of leftover socks. Isn't really so much fun. Not without Emily Elizabeth. Uh, nothing's any fun without Emily Elizabeth. Wait a minute. Emily Elizabeth! That's it! Daffodil! Daffodil! Guess what? I was playing with a real toy and I thought it would be really fun, but it wasn't. Um, gee, congratulations. Thanks! <laughs> Isn't it great? It's not the toy that matters, it's Emily Elizabeth. She's the one who matters. I know. You do? Of course I do. Toys are fine, but being with Emily Elizabeth is what's special. Are you ready to play hide and seek with the sock spider again, Clifford? <laughs> I found it! Thanks to your clues, Clifford! It's okay, Clifford. I know it was an accident. I I'll just go get a rag and we can clean it up. <laughs> Daffodil, are you upset because I'm playing with the sock spider again? Because if you're really bothered by the way it smells, I guess I could try and wash it. No, Clifford, it's not really a sock spider that matters. Huh? No. I guess I'm just feeling a little jealous of you and Emily Elizabeth spending so much time together without me. But I asked you to play. I know, but I'm not good at those sock spider games. I just don't know where I'd fit in. Oh, just forget it. I never knew Daffodil felt left out. Oh, I feel just awful. <laughs> Daffodil! Daffodil! I know the sock spider's grubby and, and, and drooly and everything, but it's terrific for hide-and-seek, and you're great at hide-and-seek. Come on, play with us, please! I don't think so, Clifford. Oh, it's really a fun game. But it's your game. Yours and Emily Elizabeth's. Oh, I should have found a way to include you before. I'm sorry. But if you play with us now, then the game will belong to all three of us. And <laughs> you know you're the best seeker ever. Well, of course that's true. There we go, clean as a whistle. Daffodil, are you gonna play with us too? I know you don't usually like games like this, but it will be much more fun if you join us. Okay, you two, I'm gonna hide the sock spider now, so no peeking. So, will you play with us, Daffodil? Will ya? Well, not if you don't close your eyes. You heard what Emily Elizabeth said, a no peeking. Okay! Okay! Okay, you two. Let's see if you can find that sock spider. You're getting warm, Clifford. Oh, no, now you're getting cold. Oh, now you're freezing. Good, Daffodil. Clifford, where are you, boy? Ruff, ruff. Wanna read a 
story, Clifford? Ruff. Okay, pick one out. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. This looks like a great story. Today's story is Speckle and the Fairy Tale. Speckle and his friends were reading a great story. It was a fairy tale about a beautiful kingdom and all the princesses and brave knights who lived there. It looked like so much fun that Speckle and his friends decided to dress up like they were the characters in the book. But what could they wear? King Speckle made a crown out of an old newspaper. Queen Reba found a beach towel that made the perfect cape and decorated her hair with a beautiful chain of wildflowers. With his sand hail and flying disc, Sir Darnell was ready to fight a mighty dragon. Then Princess Luna and Prince Ravi pretended that ordinary brooms were majestic horses and raced each other around the palace. It was so much fun, they played for the rest of the afternoon. The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, you're such a small dog. You sure are a big reader. My toy. Okay, Clifford, now pick one toy so we can go to the dog run. Mom waiting! Oh, uh, what's up, the little pup? Oh, hi, Norval. Uh, I got a problem. There's so many toys I'd like to take to dog run, but... Hold it, wait a minute, let me guess. And you can't decide which toy to bring. Right, well... Super Sam, my stuffed bear, doesn't leave the house. But Choo Choo loves it when we play Dog Splash in the fountain with my Dalmatian. Hester and I had the greatest game of peanut tug of war last week. And Jorge, he likes the Navi ball. Hey, you just answered your own question. It is the Dalmatian. You think? Oh, yeah. Listen up there, puppy. See, Jorge plays with that Navi ball every day. You did the peanut thing last week. I mean, that peanut thing, it is so last week. So I definitely say the Dalmatian is definitely the way to go. <laughs> You're right. Thanks, Norval. Hey, it's what I do. <laughs> Look at Jorge. He can't wait to play with his new toy. Here, Jorge, let me help you with that. <laughs> I think he likes it. Thanks for taking us to the pet store, Mom. Well, I thought it was about time for a new toy. <laughs> Here we see. It's Squirrel holding an acorn. Mr. Squirrel squeaks. <laughs> and his little acorn jingles. Hear it? <laughs> Catch <Jorge. laughs> Hey, my friends! Uh-oh. They're all gonna want to play with my new toy. But I haven't even had a chance to play with it by myself yet. Look, Clifford! Your friends are already here! Well, go on, boy. I know. I'll give my squirrel to Nina to hold. Hi, Emily Elizabeth. Oh, hi, Nina. What's that, boy? You want me to throw it for you? <laughs> okay, here you go. <laughs> right toward your friends. Hmm, I guess we're done with the squirrels now. Oh, <laughs> there you are. Oh, yeah, all ready to play. <laughs> Great, 
I brought the Dalmatian. Choo Choo has his flying disc, and Heather brought Mr. Slipper. Hey, what was that thing Nina threw to you? When? Well, just now. Just now? What happened? Nina threw something? Did I miss it? Oh, it was a minute ago. Was it your toy? Oh, that, no, 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 that was a, um, a, a new collar Nina bought me. It didn't look like a collar. Hey, come on, guys. Are we gonna play disc toss or just talk about my collar all day? Ha <laughs> ha! Disc toss! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, boy! Come on, Clifford! I'll miss ya! I got it! I got it! <laughs> you silly dogs. Here, I'll throw it, boy. Get it, Jorge! Jorge? 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 I don't think I've ever seen a dog do that before. I don't know what's gotten into him today. What's Jorge doing? Is it just me, or is he acting kind of weird today? He seemed fine when we were playing. I'll go get him. Even this toy with Nina is too risky. I'd better find some place to hide it. Oh, there you are! Come on, Chief and Hester are waiting! For what? I don't have a toy! Uh, I mean, sure! Let's get back to the game, little buddy. Jorge, is something wrong? But wrong? What could be wrong? You know, I'm kind of tired of the disc toss. Okay, what else is there to play with? I brought Mr. Slipper, but you know, flinging it around never ends up being much of a game. Okay, so that brings us to Clifford's toy, right? All right, Dog Splash, who's in? Uh oh, no problem, Jorge. Hester's not supposed to get a ball wet. What's that? I twisted it last week. It, it doesn't hurt anymore, but my bandage can't get wet. Okay, so I guess you'll just watch. Jorge, you know how it works. Either we all play or we don't play at all. You're the one that made that rule up. If Hester can't get a pause wet, Dog Splash is out. Oh, sure, right, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. So, let's see. Flying Disc, Slipper, Dalmatian. Mm, that was your toy, Jorge. What did you bring? Oh, I, I brought a, um, uh, uh... Oh, you did bring something, didn't you, Jorge? Oh, sure, I brought something, or at least... Oh, I, I, I thought I did. And wow, it, it was really a great something, guys, but it's, uh... It's gone! Gone? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? He's hiding his toy! Oh, no, I'm not! Yeah, it's another one of Jorge's games! Just like when he hit his ball! And his flippy frog! Okay, whoever finds Jorge's toy gets to play with it first! Play with it? So, what are we looking for? Nothing! No looking! Oh, come on! Just give us a tiny hint. Is it, um, bigger than bone? Smaller than dog biscuit? S see, guys, I, I... Oh, I got a big idea. I bet it's under that bush where I saw you digging. What? Oh, why didn't you say so? No, wait! Stop! I need it! What is it? Huh. It's nothing. It's just a... You don't want to get all dirty, do you? Why would we care about getting all dirty? Yeah, we love getting dirty. That's one of the reasons we come to the dog run in the first place. <laughs> you know that, Jorge. Oh, right. Sure, Hester, of course I do. In fact, I'll just go get the toy myself so I can be the dirtiest of all. <laughs> oh, cool. It's a squirrel. Wait, we need to go over the rules. Rules? There's rules? Oh, yeah, sure. Important ones. Number one, you can't throw my squirrel because the jingle bell might come out. Okay, no throwing. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. See how delicate the little acorn is? 
you really don't want to bite it there. In fact, better not to chew it at all. The colors might, you know, rub off. So, no chewing either. Well, how do you play with it? Oh, well, you, you, you just look at it. Jorge, if you didn't want us to play with your squirrel, why'd you bring it in the first place? Just to tell us not to touch it? I mean, that's not very nice. Yeah, it's not nice at all. Come on, guys. Oh, it's okay, Jorge. No, it's not. I'm sorry, Clifford. I'm just not ready to share the squirrel toy, but I know I should. I, I feel really bad about it. Hey, where are you going? I just figure nobody would want to play with me. But we do want to play with you. Baxter! Choo-choo, come here a second. Yeah? What's up, Clifford? Okay, here's the whole problem. The squirrel is new. Brand new. Oh! Oh, makes perfect sense. It's a special toy, right? Look, I've got a squeaky rag doll you guys have never even seen. And I'd never let anybody else draw on my rainbow ball. And what about my stuffed bear, Super Sam? He never comes to the Dug Run. I wouldn't want anything to happen to him. So, you guys aren't mad? No. We totally understand. But next time, maybe you could just say your toy is special. Yeah, Jorge. It sure saves us a lot of time if you just say you didn't feel like sharing. Oh, okay. I can do that. So why don't you take your squirrel back to Nina? Then we can play. So, who wants to play Freeze Tag? I, do, I, I love don't. Freeze Tag. Freeze it! <laughs> Fun to play with your friends. Kick, Jorge! Throw it over here, Clifford! No, over here! But sometimes when you play, it's not so much fun for someone else. Shh. The little ones are asleep, Clifford. I'm afraid all of this noise will wake them up. When that happens, it's time to show some respect. We're sorry, Mr. Sadarki. We forgot it was their nap time. Hey, why don't we take the game outside? <laughs> <laughs> oh, playing out here is a lot more fun. Having respect isn't hard at all. Clifford and his friends know that being considerate of others is really easy and can make a big difference. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is have respect. Boy, am I pooped? So, 
I guess you and Emily Elizabeth spent the whole afternoon playing with the suck spider again. Ha <laughs> ha! Gosh, Daffodil, you should have played! I had so much fun! Well, good for you. <laughs> Daffodil, is something wrong? No. Does your tummy hurt or something? No. Mm, do you need a nap? I will in a minute, since you're wearing me out. Oh, sorry. I just thought you seemed maybe a little upset. No, I'm fine. It's nothing. Nothing as in really nothing? Nothing as in nothing! Fine, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. It's... It's... The sock spider. The sock spider? So I just... I cannot stand being in the same room with it. It's gritty and drooly and... 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 That's not even a real toy, is it? It's not? It's just... It's just a bunch of stinky old socks! <laughs> oh... That always seemed like a real toy to me. Hey, what's up, Del little redness? Hiya, Norval. Ho ho, ho, wait a minute. What's the long face there, Pally? Well, I just found out that my favorite toy in the whole wide world isn't a real toy at all. You mean? Uh huh, the sock spider. Holy tamoly, I'm glad I got here when I did, because this is serious. This is very, very serious. All right, well, there is only one thing that you can do with a toy that is not a real toy. What? Well, get rid of it, that's what you do, you know. Well, get rid of it? So the sooner the better, because you got to put it where Emily Elizabeth will not find it so that she will get you a real toy to play with. Oh, well, I could never do that. I love my sock spider. If you go around playing with a sock spider, people will think that you don't know up from down, out top from bottom, a, a real toy from, um... Uh, from a, a thing pretending to be toy. Well, if you really think so, Norval. Do I think so? I do, I do, I do. Now believe me, Little Red, this is for your own good. Well, I'm off. Have a time there, Clifford. Yeah. Bye, Norval. Well, for once, that bird is actually talking sense. You think I should hide the sock spider, too? I think you should have hidden it weeks ago. But better late than never. But where? Oh, Norval says it's gotta be somewhere where Emily Elizabeth will never find it. I'm sure you'll think of something. Uh, maybe I'll hide under her bed. Oh, no, that's too easy. It's way too easy. I'm sure she'll find it there. Well, how about the living room? Yeah, there's some great hide places there. Oh, you're using that little puppy head of yours. Maybe I should just tell Clifford the truth. Problem isn't the sock spider. <sighs> I should really tell him. On the other hand, maybe if the sock spider goes away, the problem will too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clifford, Nina and I finished our homework. There you are, boy. <laughs> Wanna play tug war? <laughs> hey! Okay. Where's the sock spider, Clifford? Mm. Oh, I get it. You want me to look for it. Let's see. Did you hide it behind the couch? Nope, it's not behind the couch. <gasps> I know. Maybe it's under the couch. No, it's not under the couch either. Nope. You sure are great at hiding things, Clifford. Nope. But I wonder what that could be. I forgot to check under the pillow! 
Here I come, Clifford. I'm gonna get the sock spider. I bet that's Nina. I'll be back in a minute, Clifford. Oh, now where can I hide it? Oh, Emily Elizabeth will never find it there. And now I'll play with a real toy, not just a bunch of leftover socks. Much fun. Not without Emily Elizabeth. Uh, nothing.